how to amplify your harpy and get started with some basic effects. This is episode one in a series taking you through some of the most affordable and simple ways. This episode will give a quick overview of using portable audio interfaces like the iRig. Plug in your harpy to switch it on, then plug that into the interface. Connect your interface to any mobile device like the iPad shown here. So these interfaces usually come with a free app, so open that. And these apps usually have a bunch of free um, effects to start playing around with. Now, these mobile interfaces always have a headphones out to which you then can connect any kind of uh, small speaker that you've got laying around. For instance, this standard Bluetooth speaker by JBL. Switch that one on and now you've got sound. Now, a really nice perk of this setup is that because the signal goes through your mobile device, you basically have a mobile recording studio and you could use, for instance, GarageBand to record things and edit things uh, on the go, wherever you are. And of course, you can connect headphones to this setup. So that's using the small stereo jack output for a Bluetooth speaker or headphones. But there's also the large mono jack output so you can connect bigger amps. Now for electric and electroacoustic harps like the Harpy, we would recommend using acoustic guitar amplifiers like the AER Domino shown here, which is quite pricey, but um, any guitar amplifier will work really. Plug in your Harpy, switch it on and ready to go. Now let's have a quick listen to some of these basic digital effects. Let's try this phaser, for instance. Or this pitch shifter or octaver. Let's try this fuzz pedal. A wah wah pedal is another classic. This is just an example selection of some of the pedals that came with the device for free. There are many more available and you can combine them in all sorts of ways and really start experimenting. Now this iRig just happens to fit exactly in between the two frame halves of the Harpy, which is great of course. For any other interface you'll easily find another way of attaching it because the Harpy is just so nice and hackable. Before we leave you to it, one extra suggestion to further expand your setup. Using the fact that your mobile device has Bluetooth on it, which means you can connect things like this blue board. Now over Bluetooth you can synchronize the buttons on the stomp board and the expression pedal to the virtual buttons and expression pedals that you can see on the screen in your app. So you can suddenly control everything that happens in the app with the physical buttons and expression pedal. This of course means that you can now use your feet to control the effects in the app. Just like you would with hardware pedals and freeing up your hands to play. So far this quick overview of using digital effects as an affordable way to start experimenting with effects on your harpy. We hope this was useful. Feel free to ask questions and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos on using, for instance, hardware effects on your harpy. For now, have fun and see you soon.